Hi everybody, this is Swagboyfresh, and in this video I'm going to do a tutorial on how to rendezvous and dock with another ship in Kerbal Space Program. So I'm going to start off here, I've got, I'm setting up a small, simple ship, and I'm launching a bit in, ahead of the ship that is in orbit, and that way, once I get up there, it will be pretty much caught up with me. So that way I'll start off close to it, so I'm going to drop the boosters here, and this is in fast forward, just so you don't have to watch me go up and circularize. The main thing to do when you're or to start the main thing to do when you start off with rendezvousing is to make sure that you start off about a minute ahead of your ship and that's or of the ship that you're gonna dock with and that's anywhere from ooh twenty to thirty degrees I would say in front of it if you're looking at Kerbin from the North Pole. So here I'm gonna bring out my apoapsis and I'm gonna bring it out just about to the orbit of the ship I'm gonna dock with. Uh, that ship is, I'm just gonna call it Rendezvous 1, just for an example in this tutorial. Then I'll use a uh, node, and I'll bring that out so that it intersects with the orbit on the other side. And I'll just get lined up here to burn. There we burn. You want to be pretty precise when you're doing this. They'll drop those bigger tanks. They're uh, overshot by a little, but that's no big deal. So we'll remove the node. <clears throat> now I'm going to set uh, the other ship to my target, so I'll just click on the orbit there. Uh, just right click on either the ship or the orbit or the orbit it's in, and you should be able to set it as your target. And as you can see, because our orbits are intersecting, I've got a pretty close intersect there, but I'm going to play around with a node and see if I can get that any closer. And I'll do that just by pulling these bars around, and I'm just completely guessing here, seeing if I can get it closer. And there I've got it pretty close. Let's see if I can fine-tune it. 4.2, 2.5, almost. So this is going to be our closest point in the orbit. And that's where I'll want to uh, dock. So 0 0.7, that's pretty close. That's about as close as we're going to get. Now, I made a mistake while I was doing this, and I would suggest that you don't. I wasn't watching my periapsis when I made this maneuver node, so after I burn, that periapsis is going to go into the atmosphere, and that'll cause a lot of drag, and it'll slow me down. Yeah. I was able to still pull it off, but it's annoying here, so always make sure that you're aware of where your apoapsis and periapsis is when you're making these nodes. <laughs> I don't even check here. But yep, it says 2.5, and you have to be pretty precise on that, but 2.5 is close enough. That's not going to make that much of a difference. So now I d just wanted to f uh, break off my ship there into the smaller form. Uh, that way it's going to be easier for me to m move it around and uh, dock. And right now I'm realizing that I'm in trouble and I'm going into the atmosphere. I'll make it out, but it was annoying because now my timing is going to be a bit off. Let's see, what are we at? We're going to be a couple of kilometers off now, but all those corrections can be made when we're closer up, and that's not going to make much of a difference. There we go, now we can warp. Right now I'm just going to take a look around and see if I can see the ship. That's not my ship, that was a space station that's further out. And there it is. And it still set as my target, and it's about 4 kilometers out. So now I'm going to... I've got my um, relative velocity set to the target, and I'm going to burn um, retrograde to that in order to slow down my velocity from the target. That way I will be basically moving in the same at the same speed and in the same orbit as it. Of course I'm a bit off, but 
So I've slowed down to basically nothing, and I'm going to point myself at the target, which is shown by the purple circle there, and I'll point straight at it, and I'll start to burn. This is going to start me, or this is going to bring me in close to the target so that we can get ready to dock. And if you've made it this far, you're doing pretty well. The hardest part by far is getting the orbits to match up and get um, an encounter. So I'm just going to pull the marker kind of onto the center of the circle. The more accurate on the center of the circle you are, the closer you're going to be to the ship when you finally get there. So that's what I'm doing now. You can pull the marker around. With the um, moving forward marker, you can pull that. And with the retro marker, you can push that. It, just mess around with it a little, and you'll get what I mean. So there, you can st start to see the ship now We're coming in. So I'm going to point myself retrograde, and I'm going to get ready to burn so I can slow down once we're close to it. So there I'll start to burn. And since this ship is small, it has a pretty high thrust to weight ratio, so it can do maneuvers pretty qu quickly, and I like that. That's why when you first start out, I would recommend uh, starting out by docking a small ship. As opposed to a big one, because the small ship is going to be easier to control. So here we are, coming in, slowly. Keep pointing retrograde because you don't want to overshoot. It's always a good idea to be ready to slow down when you're coming up on it. So I'm going to dock on the point there, on the right. That's where I'm planning to, that's where I've got the docking port, which is the Clampotron Jr. It's important to note that the Clampotron I don't know, senior, the bigger one, and the junior, the smaller one, those aren't compatible. Where if, you, if you're going to dock, you have to have two compatible docking ports, which are the same. Um, and they come in two forms. There's the standard one meter and then the smaller one. And what I did just there is I set my um, target specifically to be the docking port. And that allows me to be a bit more accurate when I'm coming in. So now I'm going to rotate myself around. And I've entered um, docking mode here and I'm in the rotational phase, and I'm going to point myself uh, right where it's going to be. And I lined myself up to dock here by a north to south position, and that that makes it a lot easier because that way you're not slowing up or speeding down your orbit. So you can be a lot more precise. So I'm going to point it straight at it, and I'll s switch to linear mode. And with this, I can... Well, I forgot to turn RCS on here. I can move myself up and around. You can move yourself up and down by doing the control or, and shift key. Uh, shift being up and control being down. And now I'll position myself. And if you watch the nav ball, you can see where the docking port is relative to my ship. And I'm just trying to bring that down right on the crosshair in front of me. So now that I'm close, I'll just move in and it picks me right up. So that was a great dock really straightforward, and it was easy since, since I had a small ship where it was able to kind of grab me from far away and pull me in. So there, you can, uh, I'm going to control it from the large vessel. I think it's already controlling from there, but, but I'll just make sure. So I'll shut down that engine uh, so that my main engine on the station will be on the left. Um, now I'm going to just transfer the fuel that I have from the small ship to the big ship, and you can do that by right-clicking on the first tank and then holding ALT and right-clicking on the second tank, and then moving the fuel in or out. So yeah, that's a great dog. I'm just going to switch back to staging mode. Now you can move yourself around. If this video helped you, it would be great if you could hit the like button or favorite it. Uh, you can subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be ma making some more KSP tutorials. Other than that, see you next time.